اي تي اف اكس اهلا بك معنا في مؤشرات الشرق Um, yeah, so we having all these positive news and people are seeing that as an adoption of uh, cryptocurrencies by the mainstream public. We, of course, the, the main catalyst we had just a couple of months ago was PayPal and how they are allowing their clients and businesses to uh, receive payments, but also pay with Bitcoin and also store. Now, they haven't really rolled out that to the rest of the world yet. And if you look at how people are actually using the products is still quite a lot about speculation right now. Uh, some of the top coins belong to crypto exchanges like Binance, for example. Um, but we're seeing a lot of more activity, more mainstream usage, and I think there's still more ahead of us. So what's happening now is that people are saying that maybe we're going to go up to maybe $100,000 per coin in Bitcoin. And it's probably going to go there, but it's just going to go there because Again, people are buying today because what they think is going to happen maybe five, ten years in the future. And it's going to go up because it's in a bubble. That's really what it is. We are in a bubble. And um, it means as well that market volatility is going to be really, really high. So, you know, right now we're at 62. I think in the short term we can go up to maybe $66,000 per coin. Uh, but, you know, if we're down at 55 in a couple of weeks that would, would not surprise me either but yeah so we're in a bubble we're seeing some adaption uh, adoption but we still have much more ahead and to be honest we're probably just going up because uh, you know people make money when we are in this bubble uh, but I don't think we're gonna peak just yet if you look at the general interest from sort of small speculators it's not as high as it was for example in 2018 in 2018, if you compare what people were searching for on Google back then compared with now, we're at lower levels uh, compared to back then.